like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, I am back with some new content. This video features Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. Guys, please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. All right, y'all, let's get into this video. Therapy. I'm usually the therapist. All I know is that whether I'm here or not, my soul is going to live on. The people who I wish would care, they don't. The people who say they're, they're there for me, they're not. The people that say they my friends, they be my enemies. Seems like you're 80 to 100. I may not be done if, okay. Let's start by addressing the underlying reasons you feel like this. The reasons why I feel like this is because my life has been full of amazing memories, amazing moments, amazing times, amazing events. I've had entire clips emptied on me and everything misses. Guys, when Solar, AKA Courtney, AKA Nature Boy Jr. said that he has had full clips emptied on him and everything misses, the lie detector test determined that that was a lie. Solar has never even seen a actual bullet in real life. He needs to stop it. We all know that this is cap. And everything misses. I've been hurling down mountains in a two ton vehicle with no brakes for over two, three minutes. Now that statement is a little bit more believable because do y'all remember when they were in Puerto Rico and Musa, I think it was Puerto Rico and the Musa crashed the spaceship he crashed into a lady's fence or something like that who remembers that gaining speed and miraculously it stops at the edge of a cliff I've been with my first child my first baby mother all nine months loving her rubbing on her belly sacrificing all kind of different things to make sure she could eat. She was happy amongst all of the stress and all of the attacks. This was uh, Zoka. And this woman, even while pregnant with my child, was having sex with another man consistently behind my back, was drinking alcohol with my child in her stomach, behind my back. My next baby mother claimed that she loves me for years and every time I try to accept it or go into it, she leaves and she goes and has sex with other men while saying she loves me. finally gets me, breaks up with me over and over and over again, goes and hangs out with my friends, calls my homies, my, my brothers, 
the moment she breaks up with me and goes to their houses. My second baby mother, Janae. My third baby mother said that she loves me so, so much all the time. One of the few people who actually I felt did understand me. And she would leave me and would publicly say the most nastiest, foul things. And the first time she got caught because somebody was recording her in her apartment that she kicked me out of. She kicked me out with a knife, threatened me out of her house with a knife, with a knife. And um, all because I was, I needed help in that moment. And her response was kick me out after I gave everything up to be there for her and her children. Protected her house, reconstructed her house during winter time where the babies were turning blue. The babies were turning blue. It was so cold. I hope y'all know he lying, but I'm going to go ahead and run it back just in case y'all missed what he just said. Somebody was recording her in her apartment that she kicked me out of. She kicked me out with a knife, threatened me out of her house with a knife, with a knife. And um, all because I was, I needed help in that moment. Now y'all know he lying. What happened is Velvet called him on the phone, cupcaking with Janae while she was in the shower. She got pissed off and she did indeed put him out at knife point. Sure did. I needed help in that moment. And her response was kick me out. After I gave everything up to be there for her and her children, protected her house, reconstructed her house during winter time where the babies were turning blue. Solar, aka Courtney, aka Nature Boy Jr., I don't believe that you reconstructed a motherfucking thing. Because while you were at Velva's house, you didn't even have the wherewithal to go get a battery and put it in that goddamn smoke detector so that it could stop chirping. So you doing any handyman type of work around the house? I highly doubt it. You're turning blue. It was so cold. I found every hole, every draft in the house and fixed it. While she was out doing what she, what she was doing, I was there with the girls, teaching them, while they're freaking out about all kind of different things. Y'all, I ain't even finna hold y'all. Y'all know he lying, right? I hope y'all know he lying. About all kind of different things, harming themselves. I'm just there helping them, loving them, while their fathers are completely absent. You mean like how you're completely absent in your daughter Azuli Rose's life? I leave because I don't want to get stabbed up. Hear what's going on online and then just question, did she ever really love me? What was that? My love was so real. What was that? Time and time again, I opened my doors. I opened my heart to the love. And all she does is go to other men immediately. Goes online to Yaken. Tries to be polygamous with this man. Y'all, I gotta run that back just in case you miss what Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. just said about Velvet. 
All she does is go to other men immediately. All she does is go to other men immediately. I'm going to run it back just one more time, y'all. Just one more time. All she does is go to other men immediately. Goes online to Yaken. Tries to be polygamous with this man. I definitely think that Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. is still booty hurt that Velvet went to California to be with Yaken, called Yaken her God on live, and was literally trying to be in a relationship with that dude. Tries to be polygamous with this man on the other side of the country who only ended up roasting her for, for STDs that he thinks that he knows about from online. While I'm fighting every single day with Jaguar Wright to protect her life from her husband. Me and Jaguar Wright. Why did she invite me to ride around with her through Louisiana? Why did she invite me to ride around with her through Texas? Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., have you ever considered that Jaguar Wright invited you because she could clearly see, shit, Stevie Wonder could see that you wasn't doing anything else with your life? Invite me to ride around with her through Texas. Why did Jaguar Wright do this? Matter of fact, where Jag at? Where you at, Jag? You will be one person who I'd like to have here. Let's see if she comes. She knows. Jag will tell you. My heart is pure. In the midst of everything going on online. Me fighting this other man intellectually online. And mind you, the woman and the man she left to go and left me for just a day ago, we was both talking shit about him. And now she's going to be with them. Is this out of spite? Is it to hurt me? Was it because she what she actually really wanted? She comes back. We go online. Y'all, I sent this to Jack. Let me know. Let me know if she in here, if she come in here, because she's one person who I'll bring up here real quick. She is one person who I'll let speak real quick. So Jack, whenever she come here, we'll see if she come. And she come back. I bring her to my family's house. I bring her to my mother's house. I bring her to celebrate. Because she let me know she never really had a connection with her family like that. And I wanted her to have that. So I gave her my family. My family loved her. Cared for her. And the girls. My entire family. She came during a moment where all of my Mexican family had pulled up for a celebration. And she was here for that. I believe my mother even went into a slight a bit, bit of debt for this party. And Velvet was able to be there for us. Be there with us, I mean, and um, we conceived a child here in this room. We conceived a child right in here. And she leaves and goes to another one of our enemies' house immediately. Shaka. Shaka, who had claimed to be my friend. Shaka, who had claimed to be my homie. Now, if you're going to tell the story, Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., tell it correctly. Velvet went to Shaka and Azim and told them that you put her out. You put her and her daughters out in the middle of the night. That's what she told them. And Shaka helped Velvet as he should because she told them that she didn't have anywhere else to go. Shaka, who had claimed to be my homie. And 
I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on plane tickets, food, rent, houses, leases, hotels. I expended all of my time. I gave up all of my dreams. I gave up everything that I did build. Shit, I even gave up my mental health. And uh, I don't regret it because I did it from, from unconditional love, real love that I still have. It never, it doesn't turn off. You see, Zoka's love turned off. Janae's love turned off. Velvet's love turns off. They got to switch to their love. My love comes from within me. It overflows. I couldn't turn it off if I wanted to. So what it, the love turns into is absolute pain. Not because it wasn't real. Because I can't turn it off. They can turn it off. At will. And these are the people who I pursue and I chase. Don't ever get it twisted. I pursued and chased Janae over and over and over again. And she abused the shit out of me. All right, y'all. Go on ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. I'm running out of sympathy. I'm running out of care. But I could never run out of love. So, when I think about death, I think to myself, you will be okay in any realm because the love you have is yours. These women all said to me when we had our children, when we conceived our children before, during, and after that, they wanted to make sure that I got redemption from what happened in carbonation. They wanted to make sure that I was able to experience a family and my child with a woman that I love and I would be able to be there and I'll be able to be a part of my family. But do you know why I'm not? Because they lied. They lied. They all lied. That's the truth. They all lied. All of them. Dreams, purpose, visions. As I was walking today, all of these just, I've never seen so many just feathers just falling on, on me. Y'all, why is this dude out picking up bird feathers and not job applications? Like, yeah, oh my goodness. Falling on, on me. I don't know what this is supposed to mean. I don't know if this is the universe saying. You know. It's, it's okay. I don't know if this is my ancestors. You know what I'm saying. I don't know. I just got this tattoo. This tattoo represents. My family. I got a cancer moon in the first house. I don't care about nothing more than my family. Each feather is for one of my baby mothers and one of my children. Right? I got them to keep responsibility and remind myself that I'm the leader of my family. Regardless if they want to be with me or not. And 
out of all these promises they made, out of all the love that they said that they had, they're doing worse to me than what Eligio did, than even what Zoka did. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know who they're with. I wasn't even sure if my child with Janae was going to be my child. I wasn't even sure if my child with Janae was going to be my child. I wasn't even sure if my child with Janae was going to be my child. Now y'all know I had to run that back. Y'all know I had to run that back because straight up, he is just, he's trash. This dude is trash. My child with Janae was going to be my child. Because of how many times she would leave me and call my friends and go to their house after a breakup. I know my child with Velvet was mine because of how we conceived it. Of course you know that Velvet's baby is your baby, Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. But you know what would be funny as hell is if that baby came out dark, darker than damn baby Eliana. Mine because of how we conceived it, that child in the time frames, but she left to go be with my enemies every single time. These people went online, sat on that blue couch in real life street stars, and exposed, literally just sat up there and lied and lied for fame and credibility off of my name. I called the T yesterday to apologize for not realizing that she helped us get out of a cult, for not realizing that she spent a lot of time to fight for our sanity. And that was a lie. Not my apologies and not my love extended, but her. The T is also a lie. Janae will get online and cry about not being loved, but won't cry about how she treated love. Velvet will get online and talk about how disgusted she is with me. When she didn't do nothing but lie to me. Even if her love was real, even if their love was real at any given point in time. They all lied. Now y'all know I gotta run that back. And I'm mainly running this back for his baby mothers. Because they need to understand and realize who Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. really is. Janae will get online and cry about not being loved. But won't cry about how she treated love. Velvet would get online and talk about how disgusted she is with me. When she didn't do nothing but lie to me. Velvet, Janae, I hope you guys heard this. And I hope you guys listen to the rest of what your baby daddy has to say. Understand, at this point, you need to forgive yourself for dealing with him. Love on your children and move on with your lives. I'm left with a decision. I want to die. Because obviously one of the first thoughts a person has when they think like this is maybe now they'll value me, right? Maybe now they'll miss me. Maybe now they'll notice what was real. And it's almost like you want to make them live with that shit. You kind of get tired of lying to yourself and downplaying the truth to the world to protect them when they would not protect me. They protected their egos. They protected their reputations when they were with me because I would fight for their reputations. I would tell y'all how special they were while we were together, but I would not tell y'all how much they lied to me. I would not tell y'all 
all the things that they said about me behind my back to my enemies. To they enemies. And I know I'm not the only person who's gone through things like this. I know I'm not. So I'm left with a decision. I listen to my music, and if it wasn't for the music that I made, if it wasn't for the music that I made, we probably wouldn't be live. I probably would have just disappeared or, or something. I'm trying to find ways to die without actually dying. All right, y'all, go on ahead and drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. Thank you guys in advance. Right? Because I care about my mental health. Because I care about my well, my well-being, my soul. I've decided to get familiar with death. I've decided to go to the realms and the regions that y'all want to ignore. And play with. Y'all don't realize. The effect. That your comments have had on these women. That your comments have had on me. And what it has collectively done to my family. And my generations. And I believe that God. Is going to protect my children. I believe that God is going to protect everybody that I love. I mean. My mother. Oh, okay. So now the comments are the reason why he's lost his family. Okay, Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. I mean, my mother asked me the other day. Here's some more crazy shit, right? My mother asked me the other day. She said, Courtney, have you ever been sexually abused? Have you ever been molested? Huh? You think you gone through something? You ain't never gone through nothing. You think you, you think you gone through, have you ever been sexually abused and molested? I said, yes, I have. Her mind was blown. Y'all don't know that actually has happened to me on multiple occasions in my family, to me, very young. For multiple people in my family. All of the women, there's women. But I have been abused and molested as a child. I don't talk about it because I feel like I healed it. I feel like I understood, I understood it. I get it. It's like people was experimenting at a certain point in time. And we was young and I'm like, okay, whatever. They was older than me. Playing house and stuff like that. I'm not knowing what's going on. There's another story is that I was, I'm a child. I'm a child who was born from rape. When I was conceived, I was conceived from anger, fighting, and rape. My mother told me that ever since I was 11 or whatever the case, y'all just always been a little shit that she's just, just a little fucking shit. That's my mother. Of course she loves me, right? I mean, Janae loves me. Velvet loves me, right? Zoka loved me. Of course my mother loved me, right? I come into crazy amounts of money. I come into a lot of success. They get angry. They sabotage it. And they find ways to try to take it away from me. Rather than be happy for me. To where we can share the abundance. And we can create new life. These are things y'all don't know. Jaguar Wright offered me a, a house. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
for those of you who do not know, Jaguar Wright could not have offered Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., no kind of house because she ain't got shit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful house. A beautiful, beautiful home. Be a ton of land, a ton of space to, to grow and cultivate and farm. A space with beautiful studios where the walls are windows. And all I'm thinking about is Velvet, my children, the girls running around having a blast, inviting people through for healing. In the beginning of this live, them, them were her daughters. You was like Velvet's daughters. You you didn't, okay. Y'all peep, y'all peep game. This is that tear them down, build them back up, narcissistic rant. Yeah, Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., for healing, inviting people through to develop themselves spiritually, to help her son and be there for her son to help cultivate him as well. See, me and Jag don't got no problems. Jag is the one person who I would say has gone through a crazy amount of things in her life that she has shared with me. And she's still around. But it's not easy. I was able to be with Jaguar while her husband attempted to murder us both and to get us both locked up all the time, like every day. And we know this dude's crazy and we just want to be there for him out of love. We go to meet with him to reconcile and help. And what was this? What part of Texas was this? Um, it was near Mesquite, Texas. At any rate, I was able to see Jaguar's entire family turn on her. I was able to see Jaguar's loved ones and friends and her husband's friends and their family friends all turn on her in a moment while she's getting beaten and abused regularly. While there's a gun being waved in her face every day. And I'm there watching, wondering, when do I have to jump? When do I have to grab the gun and do some Neo shit? I'm thinking every day. And I'm there watching, wondering, when do I have to jump? When do I have to grab the gun and do some Neo shit? Y'all could go on ahead and call me Petty LaBelle. Yep, Petty LaBelle is what they call me. I had to run it back because he looks so funny saying that. And he know he lying. He wasn't thinking about running or jumping at nobody. I'm thinking DeSoto, DeSoto. I'm thinking at what point in time am I going to have to reach towards this military dude, fight this military dude, take his gun and pop his kneecaps out? Because I don't want to kill him because he's sick. I'm thinking, I'm waiting, I'm wondering. Jag looking back to me in a car and, and I'm sitting behind bro like, And I'm sitting behind bro like. Al Jag looking back to me in a car and, and I'm sitting behind bro like. Hours, a two hour drive turned into a 12 hour drive because this man would not stop threatening our lives. We got out the car even at times and he literally came back and would not let us leave. Gunpoint, loaded, one in the chamber. He even threatened to kill himself if we would leave. So we got in the car. We stayed with him. This is not the only time I've saved lives. Las Vegas. In Las Vegas, back in the day, I was with some friends and they caught uh, an attempted murder case because we was doing something else, but somebody who we was with decided to just do a little too much because something had happened to his sister from the guy who we were dealing with. And so 
when we did what we did, they did a little bit extra and bro went into a seizure and almost died. Y'all want to know what I think about Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr.'s little story time? Right. What the? What the? What the heck? In 4 a.m., it's helicopters all in the sky. I got just with so much money, but I spend everything I got to get my friend into safety because I do not want him in jail for life. I said, hey, you can get the fuck up out of here. I spent all of my money on an Uber XL to, to, just to give us space and time. Dang, y'all. Shit just got real. Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. had to come up with $70 for Uber Excel. He act like that's a lot of money. He was like, yo, I spent all my... I thought he was about to say that he bonded somebody out of jail or some shit. He paid for an Uber, y'all. A Uber. An Uber Excel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's listen, y'all. Let's continue. To, just to give us space and time to get away from the police coming up and down the block, helicopters everywhere. We all over the news, but they don't know who we are. We get there, everything's okay. They get their lawyers. They are not in jail to this day. They dealt with what they had to deal with. They handled the case from a safe position. They're good now. They're very rich and they're very wealthy now. They're able to pursue their dreams and do what they want to do now. A reset. This man has came back and blessed me in amazing ways to where I had $18,000 to spend with Janae all down the drain. While he's telling me, hey man, stop dealing with these women, bro. Leave these women alone. Come with me. Let's go get this bag, bro. Let's go level up, bro. Let's go be rich and famous, bro. And I'm like, yeah, I feel you, but I love them and I want my family. I want a family. You don't understand, bro. There's something bigger going on, man. I love them. So, you know, I'm glad of everything that I've done to this day. I'm glad of who I am. I'm happy for helping who I have helped. Another situation when I was out there, I ended up becoming very wealthy out there on my own right. Walking around, I was walking up and down the Las Vegas Strip for about four days, no sleep. You're not allowed to sleep on the Las Vegas Strip unless you got a hotel, unless you're paying for a space. You're not allowed to sleep anywhere. I had to stay up for four days. Okay, so what he's saying is that he was homeless in Vegas, clearly. And potentially, he was probably getting high. How do you stay up for four days straight with no sleep? How does that work? I had to stay up for four days, acting like I'm cool, acting like everything cool, rapping to people on the street, finding famous people, finding radio star, radio hosts with, with some other street dudes. I'm selling other people's music for money. We going into Rite Aid. We going to Rite Aid, opening up baking soda, taking a baking soda, putting it in our pockets, walking out, getting little bags, putting them in little bags and selling, selling fake dope. $60, $80 a bag. Don't know who we hurt or if any, what happened, if anything happened. Don't know. But from that point, God blessed me when I decided when my people around me wanted to rob and beat somebody, I stopped him. I said, no, he's drunk. He does look rich. He does look wealthy, but that's not good to do, bro. This is bad karma. So all of my friends, they didn't turn on me, but they left me. While I picked this man up and I protected him, this random dude, and I walked him back to his hotel room. He guided me as much as he could. And he was in the signature suites in the MGM Grand. He gave me his MGM Grand suite for a week. I was able to sleep. I was able to shower. They took me to Tom Ford. They bought me completely new outfits because I didn't know who I just helped out were millionaires from Russia. Millionaire poker players from Russia. 
Y'all, I ain't even finna waste y'all time with the poll question. I'ma just go ahead and give y'all the answer. The story that Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. is telling, I'm calling bullshit. Period. Millionaire poker players from Russia. I didn't know that. I didn't know the dude owned the label. I didn't know dude was working with G Herbo. I didn't know that. But he became a great friend of mine because I saved his life for my own people. He ended up helping me so much so that within a week span from meeting him and being able to work with them and help them, I had my own house in North Las Vegas. Uh, I was with other people. I gave them the money that I had and we were able to have this awesome house in North Las Vegas. I'm waking up every day smoking gold blunts, dipped in lean, the top quality weed. Probably like a large portion of people was getting their weed from me. I had bags, pounds, 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 pounds of the best shit from Rancho Cucamonga. This is real life from Rancho Cucamonga, pounds. And I'm just sitting at the house. People coming to me. My niggas is pimps. My homies are pimps. So they're... Oh, Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. don't even sound or look right. Trying to act tough. Oh, my goodness. His niggas were pimps, y'all. His niggas were pimps, yet he was gorilla pimped by Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God. But he was hanging around these thorough, thuggish niggas. Okay, so lie. Pimps. My homies are pimps. So they're hoes. I ended up knowing them from high school in the past. And they would bring me clients and, easy, and stuff like that. It was just real easy. I didn't have to do nothing. I didn't have to lift a finger. Phone calls. I could call anybody. I could have a girl whenever I wanted. I could have food. Anything I wanted whenever I wanted. We eating at P.F. Chang's every day. We eating at Benny Hanna's every day. We going around and finding the nicest spots to buy a steak at. Just to, just to, just, you know, we just lavish. I'm waking up every day drinking a mimosa. Every single rising, I'll get up. I'll get a cup with champagne and orange juice. And I'm just, I got the new game system, the newest game systems. I got the newest laptops. I got the newest Macs. I had a studio. I didn't make any music at this time. I didn't know how to make no music at the time. I didn't have not one song. I ain't never make not one beat. All right, y'all. Go on ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. But I had everything. And it all got shut down in one moment because one of my partners, they was doing some, some big shit. They was doing some grand larceny across the country. Like, like, I mean, I'm talking like Queen Elizabeth type of jewelry they taking and, and selling. And I'm not knowing that's where a lot of the money coming from. Sooner or later, they shut our whole shit down. I'm talking tanks. They have armored vehicles and tanks and helicopters surrounding our house. They call me out the house. I walk out the house, it's red dots everywhere, all over me. I'm like, I'm dead. I'm dead or in jail. This is it. They thought I was a hostage. And they let me go. Y'all already know what time it is. I'm taking me a break. I need a break, y'all. I need a break from Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? And why does it sound like he's telling that story about that time when Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, was approached by the Nicaraguan police because that's how they showed up. They did show up in tanks and they did have infrared beams on that ass. They let me go. 4 a.m. I'm driving to the other side of the country with nothing. All over again, nothing. But one friend and a dog. 
restarted. And this is when I ended up in Mike Will's studio. This is when I started interning and working for free in PBM studio in Marietta, Georgia. I didn't know that was an ear drummer studio. And I'm sitting in there with 30 Rock, A Plus, Blessed, Mike Will, uh, Bobo Sway, Ears. A number of other artists. I'm listening to Rihanna music that ain't out today, still ain't out. I'm listening to new Miley Cyrus music that still ain't out today. And I'm just being inspired. Mike Will is telling us, hey, man, I know that ear drummers and Mike Will is a big name, but I ain't nothing without y'all. Mike Will comes up to me personally, personally, after they give me the name Solar and tell me to write it big on a door. It says Solar. Well, all the other rapper names from ear drummers, my name big, boom, right there. The name they just gave me. They named me Solar because they said, bro, we don't know who you are. We don't know what you do, but your energy touches everybody. You should call yourself Solar. That's where the name Solar comes from. Mike Will comes up to me personally and says, bro, I don't know who you are. Who are you? You look like somebody who I really need to know. I'm like, look, Mike, <laughs> you're going to see me again. Don't worry. Don't forget this face. Don't forget me. You're going to see me again. Don't worry. I make no music at this time. I'm sitting there learning. <sighs> now, I produce at a high level. I make music at a high level. Y'all. Yeah. When Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., said that he makes and produces music at a very high level, the lie detector test determined that that was a lie. At a high level, I make music at a high level. I found my purpose in music. And to break out of my depression that I had in all of these moments of having all this money and losing everything and getting it all again and losing it all again. I looked into the sky one day and I seen stars and I'm like, what the fuck are those? I pulled out an app. I downloaded a star tracker app to see what it was. And I looked at it and what was in the sky when I looked? Scorpio, a big ass scorpion in the sky above me. And I'm like, what is this? Immediately from being so claustrophobic and feeling so contained, I felt freer than I've ever felt ever. And I never stopped looking into the stars. I never stopped figuring out what the fuck is that? Where are we? My mind expanded. I, I awoken. I became so awake that the people around me, as I was channeling information, telling it to them, they're like, bro, I don't know what you doing or what you know, but we need you to stop because we're starting to see things. We're getting visited by spirits and stuff. I don't know if we want, I want to keep learning this shit with you, bro, because this is a lot. They come back to me a couple of days later saying, you know what, bro, keep going. This was good. It's making me release all the things I don't need in my life. We started meeting people, having visions together, having crazy moments. They found the love in me again and they found respect for me again. And they promoted me and they continued to support me. Shortly after, I started working at dispensaries in California. All right, y'all, going ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. Get money up to get my own studios. I'm skipping a lot. Um, getting full, full clips emptied at me, living in the hood, living in Vista, California. And then I come across a Nature Boys video at some point in time. And I'm already tapping into all this knowledge from all these other people. But when I seen his video, what I seen was I seen a dude living in nature outside of the world that I was used to and sick of. And he's sitting there yelling knowledge that I know. And I'm like, bro, I'm not alone. I watch more videos. I see all these young dudes standing around 
You know, I'm seeing, uh, what's his name? Azul. I'm seeing Tron. I'm seeing a couple other guys who by the time I got there, they weren't there. Who are we? Carbonation. What is carbonation? The Christ conscious. Who are you? Angels, angels of the most high. Divine angels of light. Who am I? The honorable master teacher nature boy. Commander in chief of the earth plane. My highest self. Who am I? Green Eliana. Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. Tron was indeed there. I just showed the clip. Y'all seen Tron, right? Solar was there, too. So was Pure. They were all in Mexico together. Well, by the time I got there, they weren't there. And I'm like, yo, those could be my brothers. That's my family. I'm not, I'm ignoring all the drama. I'm ignoring all the bullshit. And I'm just like, yo, I need to get about this country. I go extreme, next thing you know, I'm in carbonation. Went and started my own tribe first, because that was the instruction, start your own tribe, and I did that. Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., you and Mente and two other guys camping out on the beach because y'all were homeless does not mean that you started your own tribe, sir. You never started a tribe the instructions start your own tribe and I did that easily I'm living in a lake with, with, with a tent and a couple of friends and we teaching the knowledge they surrounded me because I'm teaching everybody that's why I first met Mente right so they want to cut this live but I'm going to go ahead and start another one and we're going to get to what we really going to get to right here This is how we gonna end this one. How we gonna end this one. We gonna release everything. We gonna release everything. First time I cut my hair was for velvet. I know I have unconditional love for myself and everyone in my life. I know that God has added and removed everyone and everything in my life for my growth, love, and abundance. Now that I have lost everything, I can gain everything that is for me. Everything that I have is a blessing to radiate my love. I am enough. I love what I see when I look in the mirror. I love what I see when I look in the mirror. Y'all, I'm sure his mama told him to go on ahead and cut his hair so he could look presentable while he looking for these jobs that he claimed he looking for. I put myself and God first because that is who has always been there for me. God has always been there for me. While I've been there for everybody and nobody's been there for me, God has been there for me. I will only give myself what is in alignment for me. I am grateful for my now. I live in a heaven state presently, always, and I always have. (laughs) 
I am becoming my best out of honor for every opportunity that God has given me. I will never fumble God's blessings ever again. I choose true love to overflow from me. Love wins always. I release. I'll be damned if I chase velvet. I'll be damned if I chase velvet. I'll be damned. If I chase Velvet. I'll be damned if I chase Janae. I'll be damned if I chase Janae. I'll be damned if I chase Janae. I'll be damned if I chase the love from my family. I ain't chasing love from nobody ever again. Because God gave me the gift. God gave me the gift of unconditional love. I'll wear a crown with or without this hair, with or without your care. All right, y'all. If you haven't picked up your copy of Greatness is a Habit, authored by Aaron Dixon, otherwise known as True, many of you know him as True. He is an ex-carbonation member, and he's authored this amazing read. If you are interested in self-development and growth, this book is a good one for you. It's available on Apple Books for a dollar, guys. I got my copy and I love this book. I've always been the only reason why I've been around. But I've always known that the only reason why I'm here is for you. The only reason why I'm still here and why I can't go is because of you. And nobody has shown me love in my life. The only reason I say that is because it always seems to turn off and I don't know love to operate that way. I'm grateful for every opportunity I get to wake up. I'm grateful for every opportunity I get to be better and grow, even if it's 1%, even if it's 1% every day. I don't do this for me. I'm good. I'm enough. I'm happy. Always. I am my own source of love and power and energy. I have compromised my integrity. I have compromised my heart, my love. I have played as if I was crazy to defend the bullshit that people have done to me. And not expose them and put throw them under the bus. Because I love them. Well, that's the first thing they go and do. And then treat me like I'm the enemy. <laughs> well, would y'all look at God? He glitched out. I guess he was getting a phone call. And he glitched out. And the sound went out and he froze for a little bit. But the comments are still here, y'all. Otherwise, I would have edited this part of the video out. But y'all already know how I am. I'm here for the comments. I know some of y'all are here for them as well. 
he finally gets his act together, but he doesn't realize that his sound is off. <laughs> He's just going on and on and on. All I did was I just kept re reading the comments, y'all. So let's go ahead and read the comments. I definitely believe that he's cutting his hair because his mama and his daddy told him to. Because he got to look presentable for his job interviews. But I also think that he's doing it in a dramatic way to try to get the attention of his baby mothers. I think he's a tent solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. is up here on the internet, attention seeking, not paying attention to his chat who's trying to tell him that there's no sound and he's just continuously rambling and running off at the mouth <laughs> with his locks that he cut off in his hand. Oh my goodness, y'all. But y'all know what I'm here for already. I'm here for the comments. Y'all, don't worry. Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., eventually gets it together and takes a look at the chat and sees that his sound is not working but while he's doing that let me just give y'all some game real quick as to why i am here for the comments and why i won't edit them out see i use the comments as a part of my research i be looking people up that's in the comments and y'all cannot even y'all wouldn't even understand how many ex-carbonation members and supporters I found by doing just that. So that's another reason why I love to keep the comments in there because I refer back to this and look these people up. You should be able to hear me now. I want you to hear this. I damn near been sick. I damn near have nothing left. Nothing left. What I do know. Let me know if it's sound. This should be sound now. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to leave. Y'all need me too fucking much. Y'all need an example of unconditional love. Y'all need an example of someone who would never quit. My children need to know, they need to know what their daddy was really about rather than what the fuck people might tell them about me. Because these people told me they loved me and they didn't show it. These people said that they had my back and they ran to my enemies. I don't want to give up on love. My baby love didn't even have a chance. She didn't even have a chance. I'm not allowed to quit. I'm not allowed to stop. No matter how much I think about it. No matter how much I want to do it. No matter how much I don't want to be here. I don't get a choice. Because I got an assignment. My assignment and my mission is to teach and show unconditional love. To stand on the truth. And to defend myself when nobody else will. They've chosen already. They juggled me. They picked other men. While having my child in them. Oh, y'all, Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. must be talking about Velvet because we all know that she did go to see Yaken in California while she was, I think, yeah, she was pregnant that, around that time. She just ain't know it yet. Oh, wow. Mm. Not Solar throwing shots at Val. Not Solar. While having my child in them. I can't quit. I can't give up. I'm not allowed to. 
I don't need this to be connected to God. And now I know that. Now I see that. I remember. Ever since I started saying out loud in the past 72 hours, I'm awoken. I'm enlightened. I've never felt better. Everybody has left me. I have no friends. I have no lovers. I have no guidance. I have no guardian but God. God got me. Shit, I got me. You want me to be there for my kids? You want me to buy things? That's all I've ever done. All I've ever done was get houses and leases and put their names on it. And while they want more from me, I'm busy paying shit off. I'm busy draining my accounts to protect my friends and my family and the ones that I love. I have no regrets. I don't regret none of it. I don't regret any of it. While you literally sit on here and act like all the money that I received and the blessings that I received from what I gave and what I sacrificed was yours? Who? This, this is a stamp. This is a moment. This is a time where I make a promise to never chase ever again. Never, ever again. I forgot my value, man. I forgot my love. I forgot my journey. I forgot what I've been through. I release all the fake shit. I release being an option. Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., you cannot break up with somebody who's already broken up with you. Both Velvet and Janae left you. So you don't need to release a motherfucking thing. Being an option. I release being toyed with. I release being lied to. I release... Anything and anyone that wanted me to quit and give up. I release anybody who said that they was my friend and stabbed me in my back. I forgive you. You can remove me from your life forever. I've never remo removed myself from you. I've never pushed you away. I've never turned off my love and I never will because I'm unconditional love. But one thing I won't ever do ever again is chase. And, 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 and chase for the love I know I deserve. I let go so I can receive. I let go so I can receive and so I can grow because I deserve all that love. I deserve all the love that I have to give. And I always have. And I'm going to give it to myself. Y'all, I got to run that back real quick. Because I don't see not one near, not not near one tear. Do you? Do y'all see any tears? I didn't. I can receive and so I can grow. Because I deserve all that love. I deserve all the love that I have to give. And I always have. And I'm going to give it to myself. All right, y'all. Who here really believes that Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. is really emotional right now and is really crying? Because I'm telling y'all, I did not see not one tear. Yep. 
I've been there for everybody and always ended up alone. I've always been there for y'all and I always ended up alone. I've always loved y'all. And you chose my enemies over me. You did neglected and you ignored everything that I have done and everything that was real. Everything that happened behind closed doors. I want to be free again, but I don't want to leave because I got things to do here. I got things to do here, man. I don't want to go. So this, since I don't want to go, y'all got to go. And all y'all energy got to go. Y'all got to go with all y'all energy, all y'all negative energy, all y'all demons are going to leave me today. I've always been there to help and to heal. Now I'm just going to heal myself. I'm just going to be here for myself. I'm going to get used to being alone. When I look in the mirror, I see beauty. When I look in the mirror, I see my love. I'm the only one who doesn't doubt my love. I'm the only one who doesn't doubt my heart. I'm the only one who's never turned on me. I'm the only one who's ever believed in me completely. I'm not here to convert you. I'm not here necessarily even to teach you. All right, y'all, going ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. I'm here to be an example. I'm not here to be a martyr. I'm not here to die for you. I'm here to live for me. I'll try to be there for you. I'll try to love you. All y'all wanted to do was play with me and play with my heart. And I'm not the only one going through this. I'm not the only one who's experiencing this. And I know that. So I'm just going to release it. A new, a new age, a new time, and a new me. This new chapter, this new chapter is called Unconditional Love. I don't need this hair to know I have a crown on my head. I don't need your validation to know that my love has always been true and has always been real. I don't need it. Because I already got it. You already got it. All the love that you deserve is 
already right there in your heart. You don't need to be validated for your looks. You don't need to be validated for the love from the love that you gave. You need to know why you've done what you've done. You need to look in the mirror and see your true value. You don't need somebody to kiss you and hug you and touch you and give you the affection and make you feel good. You don't need that. All you need is God, bro. All you need is God. All you need is that breath in your lungs. All right, y'all. If you haven't picked up your copy of Greatness is a Habit, authored by Aaron Dixon, otherwise known as True. Many of you know him as True. He is an ex-carbonation member and he's authored this amazing read. If you are interested in self-development and growth, this book is a good one for you. It's available on Apple Books for a dollar, guys. I got my copy and I love this book. <laughs> <laughs> All you need to do is give yourself a trophy. Give yourself a congratulations. Because you've made it this far. I've had entire clips emptied at me and I couldn't die. I've been hurling down steep mountains in foreign countries with no brakes, no emergency brakes, nothing, and came out unscathed. I've been lied to, had all my children taken from me. I've been an option, but guess what? When I wake up every day and I look in the mirror, I ain't got no option. It's just me. It's just me. When I'm in a studio, don't nobody care to make music as much as me. When I'm in a studio, don't nobody work as hard as me. When it come to money, <laughs> I ain't no brand ambassador. <laughs> I ain't selling no, nobody else's products no more. <laughs> I'm valuable. Y'all don't know what I got coming my way. I do. Because I Hopefully it's a job at McDonald's during the day and one at Burger King at night. Because you're going to need some money, sir. Because I know what I deserve. But I cannot receive it if I can't release first. This is years of pain. This is years of torture. This is years of insecurities. It's so sad. I just did an ACV rinse. I just did the best I could to take care of these two. And I just met a loctician about three minutes ago. <laughs> right before I did this live, I met a loctician. I said, you, you live, like. <laughs> Man. This is the best decision I've ever made. I can't even apologize without being hated. I can't even apologize without being hated. Y'all, his new haircut got him looking like Squidward from SpongeBob. Job. 
even when I say I'm applying for this and I'm applying for that, they still, it still ain't enough. There's nothing that I could do that's ever enough for y'all. So I had to realize that I just got to be enough for me. I'm going to be going to the gym. I'm going to be working out. I'm going to be doing, maybe making all the healthy decisions that I can. I'm going to continue to meditate. I'm going to continue to read the Dhammapanda. I'm going to continue to read the Bhagavad Gita. I'm going to continue to teach. I'm going to continue to study. I'm going to continue to grow. I'm going to continue to love. And I'm going to continue to receive. I'm in receival mode now. I'm tired of giving to y'all. This is years of servitude. Years and years of servitude. <laughs> this was me as a slave. This is me free. It's a commitment to myself. I don't need no more validation. I don't need it. It's about time I start living my own knowledge. It's about time I start living my own knowledge. It's about time I start being a walking example of unconditional love, starting with myself. I try to do it with them. I try to give it to them. I try to share it with them. Y'all had your chance. Y'all had your time. I gave as much as I could give. I don't got no more to give to you. I need to fill my cup up. I need my cup to overflow now. I don't got no more to give to you. I'm tired of sending money and it being sent back to me. I'm tired of sending love and it being rejected. I'm tired of making sacrifices and changes to have other people's love in my life and their validation. I don't need your validation. I don't need your love. I got my own. I don't need your strings. I don't need your games. I got games. I can play games. I'm not here for that. I'm on a mission. I got an assignment. I came here to do something. I'm here. I'm at war. For myself. And I ain't about to lose the war with myself. So, this is very simple. The only thing my children need in their life is a real man. The only thing y'all need from me is to see me loving myself. Y'all need nothing else from me. Y'all ain't gotta watch me. Y'all ain't gotta like me. Y'all ain't gotta love me. Y'all ain't gotta listen to my music. Oh, don't worry, Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., we don't listen to your music. I always edit it out or mute it during the videos. Y'all ain't got to listen to my music. 
I listen to my music. I've always made my music for me. I've always made my music for me. I just now started releasing it. I'm starting over, baby. I'm going to have my locks again. I'm going to continue to grow. I'll be all right. I'll be cool. I'll be cool. Still the same person. I'm still King Love so long. I'm still unconditional love. The difference is now I'm free. I'm free. I can receive again. All I do is give. This is the season that I receive. All that I do is give. All y'all do is take. We gonna flip the script. All right, y'all, if you haven't picked up your copy of Greatness is a Habit, authored by Aaron Dixon, otherwise known as True, many of you know him as True, he is an ex-carbonation member, and he's authored this amazing read. If you are interested in self-development and growth, this book is a good one for you. It's available on Apple Books for a dollar, guys. I got my copy and I love this book. I gave enough. I am enough. I don't need, I don't need more. What I need is less. I need less. Less drama, less bullshit, less confusion, less hate. <laughs> Less hair. <laughs> the thing about hair is that it always grows back. All I want to do now is release my music make whatever money I need to make to be there and support my children But I'm not going to do it from a broken space. All right, y'all. Go on ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. I'm going to do it from an abundant space, which means that I'm just going to have to overflow. 
I never stopped working or trying. My computers are loaded with job applications and things of the sort. Uh, in, person, in person, people are offering me opportunities and, and ideas and money, money, money. Money comes, money goes. What about life? And what about love? You can't see that I'm already overabundant in those two things. I see it. When I wake up, I see that I'm abundant in life. When I, when I find every reason to stay, I see that I'm abundant in love. When I channel and I watch my videos back, I see the milestones, I see the growth. <laughs> man, oh man. <laughs> this is it, man. This is it. I know who I am. I know what I've done. I know what I have to offer. I know what I'm here to become. The universe trying to pay me out right now, but it can't. Because I'm too busy holding on to things. That God removed from my life already. You see, God removed these things out of my life. Because if they were supposed to be here, they will. They would be. But they not. I suggest y'all go find your ex. I hope you go find your ex. I hope you go be... Similar. Those two young ladies don't need your pointers on how to move on or who to find and who to get with. They're very attractive. I think they've learned their lesson, both of them. And I think they're going to actually have some standards set for the next man that they encounter. At least I hope so. Go find your ex. I hope you go be with somebody else. I hope you heal. I hope you find healing. I hope you find truth. I hope you find a high frequency. I hope you find love. And I wish you nothing but the best. I wish you enlightenment. I hope you start eating right. I hope you start getting your rest. I hope that somebody shows up and starts giving, pleasing your senses. <laughs> You can never compare them to me. And I no longer need your validation. I want to be with somebody who sees me for who I am. And I definitely want to have a partner. I definitely want my partner. I definitely want my... And guess what? My woman and my partner, she's proud of me right now. Same way God proud of me right now. Same way spirit is proud of me. Spirit let me know, bro. What you thinking? What you thinking? You right on point, bro. You got it. Spirit said, nah, man, you good. You not crazy. You just hurt. You're not broke. You're just broken. You're not hated, bro. You're just your own source of love. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for all the gifts. 
I want to say thank you for my children. I want to say thank you for the love that y'all did give me. I want to say thank you for the memories, which is what I hold on to. I hold on to the good memories. I hold on to the good times. Those are here. Those are in my heart. But this, this, this energy, this negativity, this pain and this suffering, this insecurity, nah, we good on that. Fighting for what's rightfully mine. You don't got to fight for nothing that's yours. You don't got to fight for nothing that's meant for you. You don't need to convince nobody to be with you. You don't need to convince nobody to love you. God woke you up with breath. You are already loved. God gave you sight. God gave you senses. God gave you perception. You don't even have to think about your heart beating. It just do it. You really don't even have to think about your breath. It, you just do it. Same way you don't got to think about what's for you in this life. It's just going to be there. Same way you don't worry about the sun coming up or not, it's going to be there. Only thing guaranteed in this life is change. If you can't embrace that change, if you can't embrace change, you will never have gains. You will never grow. You will never be able to evolve. I'm not here to manifest. I'm here to become. I'm here to evolve. I'm not here to prove nothing to you. I'm here to live. I'm here to experience. I want to be one with life again. I want to be one with love again. I want to be one with myself again. I missed me. I missed me a lot. I missed me. And I got me back. And I ain't never going to let myself go ever again. I ain't never gonna let myself go ever again. I got me this time. Oh yeah, you know the music gonna be crazy. My music already crazy. And my head look like a whole temple. <laughs> Why my head look like a temple? <laughs> peanut head of course anytime you cut your hair you get a peanut head <laughs> I'm gonna end up going over it again I'm gonna clean it up don't worry but right now it's a moment right now it's the energy that I'm basking in you know what I mean I don't know if I'm gonna take it lower just so it can grow I'm probably gonna take it lower so it can grow even oh yeah here's a fun fact which y'all see right here where it looks like my head goes like this when I was very young, I had a stepsister. Um, when I was a Jehovah's Witness, I had a stepsister, and she was she was angry one day, and I don't know what happened. I was very young, so I don't remember what happened, but I remember the pain and I remember everything else. She pushed me extremely hard, and I slid on the floor as a child, and my head hit a steel chair, and there is this massive hole in my head. There's this big ass hole right here in my head, in my skull. And uh, I don't remember too much because I, I, I went unconscious. Uh, I, I remember because I, I was awake, but I don't remember how it healed. I don't remember um, anything in that moment. I just remember being okay again. 
But that's what you're seeing right there. I had a massive hole in my head from a stepsister when I was younger. And so I've had that my whole life. It's blood everywhere. Y'all don't know me, man. <laughs> Y'all don't know me. Yeah, I was very young. I don't even remember. I think I was like five. I was like six. Something like that. I have unconditional, for, unconditional love for myself and everyone in my life. God has added and removed everyone and everything in my life for my growth, love, and abundance. Now that I have lost everything, I can gain everything that is for me. Every time, what did I say? Every time I, I wake up is a blessing to radiate my love. I am enough. I love what I see when I look in the mirror. I put myself and God first. I will only give myself what is in alignment for me. I am grateful for my now. I live in a heaven state presently always. I am becoming my best out of honor for every opportunity that God has given me. And I will never fumble God's blessings ever again. I choose true love to overflow from me, love wins. I release. I'm going to take a shower. We'll go ahead and get cleaned up. I'm going to start looking into the gym. I might, might as well just start doing MMA again. I used to do MMA. I used to do Krav Maga, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and uh, Taekwondo. I used to love doing Taekwondo. <laughs> so it is going back to me, man. I'm just free again. And I hope y'all think I'm ugly. I hope you think I'm ugly now. Cause the only beauty that you can see in me is gonna be from my heart. It's gonna be from my actions. Maybe now you see me for my actions. I I know what I've done. <laughs> I know what I've done. <laughs> I know that I was there for a man who absolutely abused me in every possible way out of love for his sanity and, and faith that he could evolve and grow while neglecting myself the whole time. I know what it's like, bro, to give everything up for somebody. I don't know what it's like to give everything up for myself. That's why this new chapter is called self-love. If you had me, you never lost me. You just got to deal with how you treated me. You just got to deal with how you've handled me up until this point. You got to reflect on the truth. Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr., I hope for your sake that this chapter is really called self-love and that you really start giving it to yourself. First, by starting to eat some food. You look so malnourished, sir. You got to reflect on the truth of everything that has happened beyond closed doors and everything that you have not exposed about yourself while you were busy trying to expose me. And I didn't do nothing but love you. That's why you still can't find no flaw. There's no reason. There ain't no reason why people leave me. They just hurt and broken. And I push growth and I push love and I push the best out of people. And I always have and I always will. And if you too fucking weak to grow and you too fucking weak to evolve and you wanna make me your enemy, I'm just a weight trainer. I just said, hey, fight your own demons. I just said, hey, here's your chart. Study that shit. Master that shit. Because I can't do that for you. I could be there with you. I could help you. But you got to master yourself. 
I'm leaving. Bye. Goodbye. You picked the wrong guy. You picked the wrong guy. Because I'm upper echelon. I don't need your validation no more. I'll release you with love. And I wish nothing but the best for you. Like I always have. I hope you get everything you're looking for. I hope you get everything you're dreaming for. I hope you get everything you're praying for. Because that's all I want for myself. Now I know. I know I can receive the blessings that have been waiting for me. Now I know. I know. My cup can finally overflow because I'm done pouring it into you. <laughs> Y'all say what you want to say. I don't care. Is that not clear? <laughs> all your comments, all your negative energy, and all your low vibes... And any piece of me that was attached to anything that you might say is right here. Because I know my heart. You don't know my heart. I know what I'm going to do. You don't know what, what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to always be there for my children and my family. And they mamas too. I know that. <laughs> you doubt it. That's your problem. That's you. That's how you think. That's how you would handle the situation. That's not how I would handle the situation. You don't know what goes on in my phone. You don't know what they send me. You don't know what I send them. <laughs> Y'all need to become a little more holistic in your approach, in your perspective. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about my children. You never really cared anyway. We're good. We're protected. God got me. God got them. God got us. God got you. Don't worry about what's going to happen for my children. You might, if you care, you would pray for us. You would pray for them. You would do something. I don't care what you say or what you think because that's what I'm busy doing. I'm going to be man. I'm going to be the man I need to be. My mother told me this uh, when I was younger. She said, she said, mijo, stop trying to be the right guy. For that girl. Be the right guy. For any girl. And the way I took that. Was be the best version of yourself. That you can be in this lifetime. That's all I'm here to do. <laughs> Love wins baby. <laughs> Love wins. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as well as my commentary. Please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. Guys, I want to give a warm welcome to all of my new subscribers. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the channel. To all of my OGs, my day ones, my ride or dies. Y'all already know what it is. Big up yourself. We in the building with it.